Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna show the process that I do to release a package to PyPI. Um, my process is a little bit manual and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but let's jump into it. Oh, I forgot to open the window. <laughs> anyway, the package that we're gonna be releasing today is a package called Identify, which uh, pre-commit uses identify in order to do file identification and this allows it to like pick up on uh, Python files that aren't that, that don't have a file extension as Py uh, but also like shebangs and stuff but anyway uh, if we look at this there's a pull request today which adds the GraphQL schema uh, extension which very simple to just add another extension to identify and this is kind of how, how that library works uh, but I've already gone ahead and approved it. We've got our cat gif there. And I'm going to start by merging this request. This library gets a ton of releases. This is actually why it was split out from pre-commit to make sure that it was you know, able to be updated without having to make a whole release of the pre-commit framework. Uh, so this gets a lot, of, a lot of bumps and the version number gets very large. And that's just kind of fine, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's start by merging this pull request and then we will clone this repository and I'll show you the manual steps that I do to um, to release this. Now, there would probably be better ways to do this. Like I, I can automate this through like GitHub Actions or Azure Pipelines or other stuff like that. Uh, but all of the current solutions involve, um, you know, <laughs> uh, having a credential somewhere that I have to, you know, rotate and update. And for me, it's just easier to, well, it's not that much work for me to do it locally. So that's that's the main reason. Uh, I don't really want to put a credential on GitHub just for this, but it would be convenient. And if you are in the business for doing this with a lot of packages, you might want to check something out like, oh, what is that package called? Maybe there's a GitHub action for it. Um. GitHub Action PyPI Publish. Yeah, so you might want to check this out if um, if you want a more automated approach. I don't really like the approach though, but that's just me. I'm okay being wrong. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's jump into this repository. Uh, one thing that I usually check when I'm going to release a package is I check the current version and see how it got released last time. Uh, I happen to know that this this um, uses a tagging scheme that starts with a V. That's how I tag all of my repositories. And you'll see last time I released this, all I did was all I had to do is bump the version. Some of my other repositories have change logs or other metadata that I need to update as part of the release process. Uh, but this one is the dead simplest one. <laughs> um, so we'll we'll start by modifying that setup.cfg file. This is just where the packaging metadata lives. You can see the, the rest of the packaging metadata here. Um, and I'm going to bump the version to 1.4.17. So Identify uses a little bit of a strange versioning scheme. Um, technically, this would be kind of a feature patch in, in the concept of semantic versioning. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've decided that like this is the API version, this is the like functionality version, and then if an extension gets added, we bump this third version number um, just to kind of make the versions a little bit more manageable. Because otherwise it would be really difficult to tell the difference between adding a new API and adding an extension. Um, and this, otherwise this number would probably be 21, but whatever, I gotta, gotta defend my weird decisions there. But anyway, we look at this now and we see that we've bumped 16 to 17, so we're gonna add that. And I usually make a commit that's going to be the same version number as the tag, uh, and you'll see why in a second. So we'll do git commit dash m v 1.4.17, so that'll commit that. And then I'm gonna make a tag that's the same thing. And I'm actually gonna use a little shortcut in bash here. I'm gonna do git tag bang dollar sign. Uh, this will take the last argument of the previous command. So it will tag as v14.17. Um, you'll, see, you'll see that it actually expanded out here and made that tag there. And now if we look at this, you'll see that we have a branch that has this commit and a tag pointed there. But that's all still locally. Uh, we'll eventually push that to PyPI. The next thing that I do is uh, make a source distribution and wheel for this package. Now this varies based on my packages. Some of them have binary distributions, so I have other scripts that do this for me. Uh, 
but I'm essentially calling setup.py with sdist and bdist wheel. sdist will make the source distribution, this will make the wheel. If we run that, it spews out a bunch of stuff as it ran. Uh, but you'll notice in this dist directory, we created these two packages. And then the last part of this is uploading it to PyPI. So I'll do twine upload dash r, well, that's not the last part. <laughs> it's the second to last part. Uh, twine upload dash r pi 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 dist slash this, and we'll put a star so that we get both of these files. And that will prompt me for my password. I'm gonna go grab that from my password manager. But just copy that there and paste this in here. And that'll upload the package to PyPI. And at that point, you're basically done, although we have one last thing, and that's to push up the commit and tag that we made it for this, um, this package. So that'll push it to GitHub. And that's kind of the process that I go through for releasing a package. Hopefully this was uh, useful or now you understand uh, one of the tedious steps that I still do. Uh, but yeah, if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on various platforms. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.